Hello, my name is Olivia Leaving. I'm here today in Port Marion, which is an Italian-esque village in the middle of North Wales. You may be wondering what the heck I am talking about, but that is why I'm here with Amanda Whitehead, who is a tourist guide here in North Wales and also an expert on Port Marion. We're going to learn everything about the village. We're going to learn how you can book clients at the village and why, if you like a certain TV series, this may be the village for your clients to choose. All of this and more today on Insider Travel Report. Amanda, thank you so much for being here today and showing us this very colorful and whimsical village here in Northern Wales. I guess to start, can you tell me a little bit about Port Marion and the history and how it became what it is today? Yes, certainly. I mean, Port Marion is always hard to describe until you see it. Um, it's basically the result of one man's dream. He was Clough Williams Ellis, was an architect uh, at the turn of the century, really. And he dreamed of building a village that in beautiful natural surroundings that would actually, where the architecture would enhance nature. Uh, and he looked all over Europe and in fact he found, he was looking for an island, he found this peninsula here in northwest Wales and he started building in the sort of 1920s, uh, well uh, yes, it, I, sorry I need to check the date there but about the 1920s and, and it went on and it was always he wasn't a rich man. Well, he was rich compared to me, but he wasn't a millionaire. Um, and so he knew from the beginning he would have to make the village earn money. So he started by building a hotel and it was very, very popular with artistic and musical types. Noel Coward wrote Blythe Spirit here. Um, still to this day, um, the Beatles loved it here. In fact, um, Brian Epstein, their manager, came here so often, the archway we've just passed through, he had it refitted with wardrobes for his clothes and came here regularly uh, as well. Wow, okay, that is a very unique history for a very unique place. Thank you for that, Amanda. Can you tell me a little bit about the Italian architecture and, and the very colorful buildings? I feel like I could be in Southern Europe right now. Well, you're quite right um, in that we say Italianate because certainly Portofino was his inspiration. Um, we just you, you might just about be able to see the campanella. He, he wanted the center for the village being a spire or something and then it tumbling down the hill. Uh, certainly some of the buildings like Mediterranean villages with a two-tone paintwork as if they were lime plastered. But there are all sorts of English architecture quirks here too. What we call arts and crafts buildings, Georgian but nothing is as it seems. Quite often he played with perspective. Uh, there's some houses over there where he painted some small windows on the top so you'd think it was taller um, because the windows are smaller. So everything you need to look at twice because there's always a funny little quirk to it. I love that, what, very interesting. Um, before we, we get into how you can book here and how you can experience this. Tell me a little bit about the series The Prisoner, uh, which was filmed here, um, and how can you kind of experience that today? Are there any tours? Has the tourism increased? Tell me about that relationship between uh, the village and The Prisoner. Well, it's interesting how enduring The Prisoner has been because it was a series back in the 60s with Patrick McGowan. Um, and it was all about a captured agent, but we never quite knew why he was captured and he didn't know why he was captured. Uh, and they filmed it here um, and he kept trying to escape and they had a great big inflatable ball that would come out oh, if you tried to go out to sea and bring you back. Uh, and the inspiration for that actually was, this was the 60s. Originally they wanted a robot, but this was the 60s and the robot didn't work very well. And yet the meteorological office had a conference here and the producer saw the great big 
weather balloon and thought that would be even creepier being captured by a balloon. Um, so even though it was the 60s, oh there we are, the campanelles bonging off, the idea of the prisoner is endured. There are, they have um, a meeting here, it's a bit like Star Trek fans. They come once a year um, and have a conference here uh, and uh, there are special um, tours you can download of the village with various bits that were used for the set. Wow, so if you're a fan they've got you covered here. <laughs> oh they certainly oh. have, yes, and I recommend watching a couple of the episodes on YouTube oh. before you come. That's also a good idea. So, okay, if we're going to watch the show or we just want to see this unique village, quickly just tell us how one can book it and where you can stay, what that experience is like here. Right, um, they've got a very, portmarian.com, they've got a very good website. Um, all the build, they're still owned by the trust. All the buildings in the village are either little shops or they're used as hotel rooms. Some of them are self-catered cottages as well. Um, there is a hotel down by the side where you can have some rooms in the main hotel, but you can certainly book online. That's wonderful. Thank you for all the information today. I'm excited to explore uh, this quirky little part of the world further uh, and learn more about it from you. So thank you, Amanda. <laughs> My name is Olivia Leaving, and this is Insider Travel Report.